Asia-Pacific is the world's fastest growing region. Its momentum has produced a young, diverse and rapidly surging population and a widespread economic boom. This escalating development has triggered a host of new challenges for communities in relation to food security, poverty reduction and confronting climate change. Agriculture is at the root of these challenges and progressive, responsive agricultural policies are vital to ensuring Asia-Pacific countries promote prosperity through a path that is both forward-focused and sustainable. Agricultural statistics form the foundation of these policies. Good statistics in agriculture matter uh, as uh, it's uh, essential for the economic uh, uplift of uh, developing countries and the improvement of uh, uh, rural dwellers' uh, lives. In Asia and the Pacific, the global strategy, through its three key components of technical assistance, research and training, is building a foundation of better agricultural statistics systems through active partnerships with peers, regional bodies and governments in 19 countries. The main challenge is that the statistical activities at the national level are not integrated and they are not carried out in, in a coordinated manner, which results in inconsistent and duplicate data. The partnership between the national agencies as well as the development partners is the key to success. Since its inception in 2013, the global strategy in Asia-Pacific has made great strides in covering the whole region. From Georgia, at its westernmost limits in Asia, to Samoa, at its easternmost limits in the Pacific, the strategy is assisting countries in building and launching their own strategic plans for agricultural and rural statistics, tailored to their own unique environment. At the broad level, uh, the strategic plans that we've been developing are almost completed or finalised in uh, about 10 countries. So that's going to uh, set the, the basis for further improvements. But at a country level, uh, a lot of the work we've been doing uh, is basically intended to improve production statistics for major commodities. In Bhutan, a small country in the South Asia region bordered by China and India, the rugged mountainous landscape and small scattered population present very distinct challenges for agriculture and development. Bhutan's intention of joining the global strategy for agricultural statistics is that we collect the information and also provide, uh, collect quality information and also make it more every, uh, accessible to other users, to the decision makers, to the policy makers, to the analysis and to the global community. The global strategy takes a holistic approach to agricultural statistics. In Bhutan, it has identified eight additional short-term projects that will feed into the country's overall strategic plan. Of the eight projects, we have implemented only one. Uh, that's about uh, bringing improvement in livestock statistics as a pilot project uh, in one of the districts. And that has turned out to be very successful and uh, the department and agencies are looking forward to replicate into other logistics uh, in Bhutan. The progress of the global strategy in Asia-Pacific is evident. Twelve countries have already completed advanced work to launch their strategic plans for agricultural and rural statistics, with the goal to launch plans in the current 19 countries well within reach, as the strategy continues to champion collaborations that speak to each country's distinct needs. That is where the global strategy has become very, very useful for us uh, to improve the uh, agricultural and fisheries data collection systems to show the importance and, uh, of the sector. Samoa is an island nation in the Pacific with its own unique challenges. Though only 12% of its mountainous land area is devoted to agriculture, close to 40% of its people are employed in the sector. The global strategy is very important because it's like the catalyst that has allowed us to revisit and to look at the way that we have, uh, we collect and compile agricultural statistics. And without the agricultural statistics, it's very hard for the sector to make good decisions, to develop good policy, and to really um, impact um, for the people of Samoa.
as countries strengthen foundations for better agricultural statistics systems and boost their technical capacities, their actions will have impacts beyond agricultural and rural communities in the region, directly contributing to FAO's support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Global Development Agenda. There is a commitment, we say, across all United Nations member states, but this actually means that uh, individuals, the young communities, have committed uh, to achieving these goals. Uh, and all of them, uh, most of them, have said that it is important uh, for them to be able to monitor the progress and achievement through statistics that are understood. The strategy has already seeded change in Asia and the Pacific, but there is more to be done. New partnerships, greatly improved statistics capacity and highly engaged agricultural and rural communities will continue to grow, serving as a model of equitable development for today's changing world. When I meet with the ministers, one thing that I keep hearing from them is the importance of good statistics. We need very reliable, good data systems and the global strategy is, helps us to precisely do that. Uh, in a sense, uh, it helps to develop the systems in many of our countries uh, and also develop the capacity of the people who are going to be working on developing these systems. As it focuses further on the bounty of soil, water and sea of this profoundly diverse region, the global strategy in Asia and the Pacific will continue to generate statistical systems which carry agriculture to the forefront of the region's development helping to build a brighter future for all.